I am going to make some dry fry on the pan. Just you know, few drops of oil. Taking uh, one green banana, this rich god, and one chow chow or shima uh, katrikya. I don't know about this in English. I have to find out. And one tomato, and I have taken some rice flour. and some chili powder some hing paste and flavor paste and a layer salt and some salt I'll cut all this into whatever shapes you want. You can cut it, and I'll show you how to just make this. Munas chow chow, or shima kateri kya, or shima budne kai. You can cut it in the center, and just take off this sticky. Please, I'm just watching. Don't put water and mix this rice flour. You put salt, hing, uh, chili powder. So this is that raw banana. Drain off the water and take some pieces. And this chow chow or shima badne ka hai or Shima katri kya? Put some pieces and this ridge guard. Take some pieces and tomato. You, I will just you know put it into the last and do it so you can just mix it all together. Don't put water at all. whatever vegetable is suitable for this you can put you can put red pumpkin pieces um you can put capsicum and uh, potatoes if you like and even you know um yam but yam will take a longer time to cook and it has got a different procedure so i don't advise that here so mix it well after some time that will shed out water and it will become little soft so till then just close and keep it so now smear some oil in the pan see now it is nicely Has given out the water and the flour is sticking to it, so the salt, chili powder, hing will be very nicely coated on it. So you can put, make it a thin slice, so that no, it cooks well. It will taste very good, be a very good snack, also. and a side dish even for rice and dal uh, whatever you cook it 
just put little just few drops here and there oil and just close and keep it make the flame low just try to flip see it is getting roasted So for a few more minutes, put it on the other side and just close. So it is nicely cooked now on either side. So you can just put it on a plate. See, you can hear the noise. It's quite, quite crispy. Put all types of vegetables. You know, if they are of the same kind, put them together and the temperature and cooking time will be same. So like that you can select and cook it. Now I am going to put tomatoes also with it now. Smear some oil. You can serve with tea. coffee or whatever you like or eat just like that so show you papa so the tomatoes I will because uh, it is so watery the tomatoes are so I won't soak them in the flour but I will just flip them with this rice flour it will be very tasty it won't be so very crispy it will take a long time to make it crispy but the taste will be very good with this flour and salt and things so put again some more oil few drops here and there and just close and keep it But be careful, the pan is very hot. So 
So once it is nicely cooked again, put again few drops of oil, few drops and close and keep it. So, it, so you can repeat if you would like to be have more crisp or just cooked, it will be very tasty. And they are quite crisp. These are, I think you should put each vegetable separately and do because the cooking time you can know and they become crisp in their own way. But this tomato is soggy but it will be very tasty. Uh, make it and enjoy and, and we should be happy with what we eat. This is very easy to make, very easy. Only the time it gets soaked in the flour, see, 